I don't know about you, but it really annoys me when you buy fresh produce from the supermarket only to find out that it's not fresh at all. Like these potatoes here. You buy them thinking that they're supposed to be fresh and should last for a while because potatoes store really well. But then you find out that they go green and the reason for that is because they are old and no amount of hiding them from the sun or light will stop these potatoes from growing new shoots and turning bad. Of course, you can't eat green potatoes. But what you can do is plant these potatoes back into the soil from where they came from to rejuvenate the crop and start all over again with good, fresh produce of your own. I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me. Let's get into it. The truth is a lot of potatoes are old by the end of their storage time. So you buy them and they quickly turn green and now they're starting to grow eyes. So I'm going to plant them just like regular seed potatoes that you buy. You get certified disease free seed potatoes. I see nothing wrong with growing potatoes from the store like this. I don't think you introduce disease into your yard. I think the risk is minimal. I've done this many times and you, you can get mixed results, but we'll see how this one turns out. It's just a good way to reuse potatoes rather than chucking them out or putting them in the compost even. It's a good way to just try regrowing them and see if you can get at least that much back. If you do, you've got potatoes for pretty much free. I've thrown a bit of blood and bone in this bed, a bit of extra soil that I got from over here because I'm making some new garden beds and we're refurbishing that soil with some nice stuff just to bump up the water holding capacity. And now I'm just simply going to do what I always do and burying them down about wrist deep. So I just dig down like that and then I just bury them underneath the soil just where they are. I've laid them out about 25 centimeters apart. Just whizzle it down like that about wrist deep then cover over. Simple as that. And we'll see how they go. Once I'd finished burying those potatoes, the last thing I did is I covered the bed with a nice thick mulch. This is sugarcane mulch. And I did that just to add a little bit of height because sometimes you get potatoes popping up over the surface. And indeed, even new potatoes, when they get sunlight, they'll go green quick smart. So you don't want any light getting onto any of those potatoes if they're forced upwards during the growing process, especially as the plants are starting to die back, which they will do at the end of their growing season, which is usually around 12 weeks. Well, let's dig down and see what type of harvest we've got. Get rid of these. Oh, there you go. I've just cranked back some of the mulch on top and you've got a potato here. But very close to the surface and that's what I'm talking about. Get rid of the mulch first and then we'll start digging. Radio, time for the fork. Let's hope I don't stab too many. Oh, no! Oh, stabbed my first one. That'll have to go on the dinner table tonight. <coughs> These are not 
potatoes, but they're similar in a way. They're Jerusalem artichoke roots, which taste very good, especially pickled. They're from last season. They'll start sprouting soon. I'm going to, I don't know, put them somewhere and let them grow for this summer because they're a really good potato substitute when potatoes won't grow, is growing these Jerusalem artichokes. Actually, I might turn this bed into a Jerusalem artichoke bed. It seems like even I underestimated this harvest. This little fella's not going to cut it. Not even sure if this will be enough. Nice. Just go through, just do one last check, digging randomly to make sure that I've got them all. Dig down a little bit further perhaps. Usually they don't go down too much underneath where you plant them. They mainly grow upwards. But you know, when you even in a small bed like this, you can dig and easily miss them. Like this one. See? That's what I'm saying. Always go back through your potato bed, just in case. That extra dig can get that gold nugget. Yeah, I think we're pretty safe. I think that's it. Well done. Rightio, let's see what those 15 store-bought, gone-off green potatoes turned into. Oh. This many beautiful, fresh potatoes that now can be used for eating. Now that is a success story and really didn't have to do too much to convert potatoes that would have otherwise been thrown out into potatoes now that we can eat. Too easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big potato harvest thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Plus, share this video around because that really helps the channel out heaps. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.